everyone, I'm ready to do my November book haul. In November I bought a total of 11 books and I'm very very happy about them because some of them are books that I've been waiting for for such a long time. So I finally have them and I'm very happy to show them to you. So let me just start with the first one. The first book that I bought this month is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. This is a very big book. I don't know if you can see the size of it. I have heard about this book through Katie Tastic who has praised it. She keeps on saying this is an amazing book. So I just needed to get it and very happy about it. Next book that I got is a book that is in Danish and that is The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith aka JK Rowling. I already own this book in English but I just saw that it was on sale in Danish and it was in hardback so I decided to do a giveaway and just give away my English books. This is the book that I'm giving away and this is my beautiful hardcover that I own myself. The next book that I got this month is a book that I was so 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 excited about Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken. This is the sequel to The Darkest Mind and I absolutely love that one. It kept me captivated throughout the book and I just needed to read the sequel and now I have it and of course I've already read it. I am going to talk about it in my November wrap up and then I will tell you whether I like this one or not. Next book that I got in November is also a sequel in a series and that is Unravel Me by Teheri Maffei. Maffei? This is the sequel to Shadow Me by Teheri Maffei. I actually wasn't that much into that book. I remember that I liked it but I wasn't enjoying it as much as I thought that I would. But I decided to get the sequel anyway. One, because it looks so pretty. I love the front page. Two, because everyone seems to say that this is amazing. Whenever I hear a lot of people say that a book is amazing, something just clicks in my brain and I just need to buy it. I don't know if you can see it, but the pages are kind of ruffled. They have been cut up with a knife, I think, just as they did in the old days. And that is so charming. I really love that and I was so happy to see that when I received it. The next two books that I got are The Selection by Kiera Cass and The Elite by Kiera Cass. I don't know much about these other than and a lot of booktubers have been talking about them and I thought they seemed interesting. I really thought they would be bigger. They are very small books. This is a beautiful dress. I should buy one of those or one of those. Which cover do you think suits me the best? Anyway. Then I got the book of all books. The book that every booktuber is talking about and I keep saying that but this is definitely the book that I have been watching over and over again in people's videos and that is a Legion by Veronica Roth. Yes, I got it as well and I'm in the middle of reading it so I will be telling you whether I liked it or not. Then I have four books left and those books are all a part of the same series. And they are by Rick Yancey. Rick Yancey was the author to The Fifth Wave. The books that I'm talking about are these books. I should just start from the beginning even though I don't know which book is the first one. So let me just show them to you. First we have The Monstromologist and... Something is off. I'm going to tell you about that later. The Curse of the Wendigo, The Isle of Blood, and of course The Final Descent. I don't know much about these books, but I do know that they are kind of scary. They are kind of Halloween-like. They have a dark mood. And that's basically all I know. The thing that kind of bugs me is that when I received them, I ordered them from the same place and I picked the hardback edition for all of them and I also received the hardback edition but these three books are hardbacks with a cover that can be removed. I don't have enough hands but they have a cover that can be removed. That goes for three of the books. But then we have this book. This is also hardback but no cover that can be removed. This is another edition and it's also smaller than the other books. So I'm just thinking, what is up with that? I ordered these books the same time from the same place and still I got this odd edition. And sometimes I just forget to check whether the sizes of the books are the same or I don't know. But I still am a little bit irritated by that because you can see the difference when they are on my shelves and I'm not happy with that. 
I'm not going to let that ruin my day. Now I have shown you my 11 beautiful books and I'm very excited about them. I hope you enjoyed my book haul. If you enjoy my videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments as to which book I should read first, then let me know below. That's it for today. Have a great day and happy reading. Bye-bye.